We asked over a thousand Raiders fans what they thought of the Devontae Adams trade. And coming up here on today's show, you're going to hear what the nation has to say about the Raiders trading away Devontae Adams to the New York Jets. If you don't see the trade details, New York got Tay. The Raiders got a third round pick that could potentially turn into a second round pick if Devontae Adams is a first or second team all pro or the Jets end up making the AFC Championship game or the Super Bowl. First one's coming in here from Patrick B., this is a great wide receiver draft. I'm good with this. The money for next season was not worth it. This draft is offense heavy. Got to get a franchise quarterback. Got to build the offensive line. There are some good wide receivers in this draft. And as I've said a hundred times on this show, it does not make sense to pay Devontae Adams the amount of money the Raiders are paying Tay unless you get a franchise quarterback. I think now this move shows that the Raiders are planning for 2025. And everybody in this situation was happy that Tay is now no longer a part of this team because Tay started to become a little bit of a problem there in that locker room. There's a reason they took that captain off of his chest. Let's go to Carlos Kruger. Tay was a bust just like Moss. Neither were team players. Fire Getze because we absolutely suck. I don't think that the Raiders end up firing Getze, and I want the Raiders to fire Getze because AP probably wants a fall guy. But I don't think that Tay deserves to be in the same conversation as Randy Moss simply because Tay at least had... 14 touchdowns, 1,500 yards. Moss never put up those type of numbers. And even though the Raiders traded Tay and Tay did quit on this team, the Raiders also deserve a little bit of blame too because they never got Tay a quarterback. Let's go to John Rodriguez. Sell, baby, sell. Goodbye to Colt Miller and goodbye to Andre James. You're not the first and you're not going to be the last fan that has said now that the Raiders traded away Devontae, it's time to trade Colt Miller, who's got no million guaranteed left on his deal. Try to trade Andre. That's going to be a little bit more of a tricky one because he did just sign a three-year, $24 million extension this offseason. But the NFL trade deadline is November 5th. We will be live November 5th. Leading up to the deadline at 4 p.m. Eastern time, it's right after the Week 9 game against Cincinnati. But I'll tell you this right now, if the Raiders do any more trades, Colt Miller and Andre James have to be in that equation. Quite frankly, if I was the Raiders, I would try to do everything in my power to move on from Andre and put either Dylan or JPJ at center because he's not been good. Let's go to Tyler. Bring Hunter Renfro back. We did do a video when we were live today about some potential replacements. Hunter Renfro was on that list, and I know fans love Renfro, but there's a reason why somebody who is as talented as Renfro is no longer available or is not signed on a team. People are worried about the concussions. People are worried about his overall health, and I love Renfro, but Renfro has not been good for multiple, multiple seasons. It's why he's not on a team. People are worried about the concussion problems. Josh Smith, Mitch, I now have Adams and Wilson on my fantasy. Say, do I keep both or trade both? I think Devontae has more value if you were to try to trade him away because if you try to trade Garrett Wilson, if I'm on that other line, I go, well, Devontae's the number one now. Garrett Wilson had a lot more value. I would actually try to trade away Devontae if it was my fantasy team. Mando, people saying we're going to trade Max. He's the type of player you build a franchise around. The only people that are saying that the Raiders are going to trade Max are probably Lions fans or people that are just trying to make content. And I know we're trying to make content too, but I've talked to Max a hundred times. Max and Mark are really, really close. It's not going to happen. Mark cares about money. And Mark knows if he trades away Max Crosby, he's going to lose millions and millions of dollars because that would be the move that would set Raider Nation over the edge. Let's go to B. Jerome. We should go out and get Jalen Milrow and Ashton Genty. Wouldn't that be crazy? It would be really crazy. Speaking of crazy, it sounds like and looks like you need a new picture. Um, I like Jalen Milrow. Cam Ward's my favorite. Shador Sanders is the quarterback that I think is the most likely to be the Raiders QB next season. But Genty is going to be a top 10 pick. And as much as I think he's a top 10 running back right now playing in college, we got to get quarterback, offensive line, a lot, a lot of other needs before you go out and get a running back. Jake Tomlinson, who deserves more blame, the Raiders or Devontae Adams? You know what, Chugs? Let's make this the pin comment. This is a hell of a question here. How about this, y'all? Who deserves more blame for the Devontae Adams trade? If you think it's Devontae Adams, let me know down below. If you think it's the Las Vegas Raiders, let me know down below. We're going to make this the pinned comment here on today's show, which means you're about to get hit with a YouTube ad break. While that ad is playing, I want you to scroll on down and let me know. Who deserves more blame for the Devontae Adams trade? Type Devontae, or you can type the Raiders. I'll be looking down in the comments. I am going to go with the person that deserves more blame for this trade. 
is the Las Vegas Raiders. And I know that that might upset some people out there. And I know that I'm the person that I have said that Devontae quit on this team. Devontae did quit on this team. And I'm the type of person when you sign a five-year, $140 million deal that, let's face it, you should have to stay with that team no matter what because that's your team. But... I would say it's 51% of the Raiders' fault, 49% of Devontae's fault. And I only say that because Devontae did want to come to the Raiders. He wanted to play with Derek Carr. Derek proved to not be the right choice and proved that he definitely lost his step and wasn't the quarterback that Devontae remembered playing with. And then it was the Raiders' job to be able to figure out a quarterback and bring it in. Not only did the Raiders fail by bringing in Josh McDaniels and then they got gave Jimmy Garoppolo that money, but then this also current regime, which doesn't deserve as much blame as McDaniels, but still deserves some blame. We had two different regimes fail to get a quarterback, and I think if the Raiders would have got a quarterback and not had the worst quarterback play in the NFL, that Devontae might have been a little bit happier, might have been in a different situation, and we could have actually been winning some games. But both parties, let's not get it twisted, absolutely positively deserve blame here. Dylan Erickson, what's up, man? Tay one at AP and Getsy, bro, literally made his bed and then is like, I ain't laying in that mess. Also, can you give us a pro and con of the 2025 class? This is also where Tay deserves, you know, a lot of blame. Tay said that he didn't want to get traded, and it's been reported that Tay's and his team have been looking for trades for a long, long time. Devontae wanted to figure out ways to get the best situation, and I know that the Raiders wanted to get Jaden Daniels, and I think that that was the plan all along, but Tay... I agree that he made his bet and didn't lay in it, and that's just the unfortunate part. Evil Mitch, Shador Sanders looks really good for the Raiders. Anybody looks good in a Raiders uniform, but Mark Davis cares about money more than he cares about winning, and Shador Sanders would bring the Raiders more money than any quarterback that maybe has ever been drafted in the history of NFL QBs, and I say that because I don't know if there's ever been a quarterback that has as much light on them right now is Shador Sanders in Colorado. You pair that with Las Vegas, that means more money in Mark Davis's pocket, which is what Mark Davis cares about. Let's go to Tina. Would you want Sam Darnold if he came available? No, not really. And I only say that because it was reported actually yesterday that Sam Darnold could get a $50 million contract. Like, I think Sam Darnold is a good quarterback, and I'm happy that he's kind of like recreating his career very similar to what Baker Mayfield did. But like, even that... Baker just got a four-year contract at about $40 million per year. If you told me I got to pay Sam Darnold $40 million per year, I don't want to do that, right? Like, at this point, let's just go get a quarterback in the draft and let's go build that team that way. Good teams build through the draft. That's what the Raiders need to learn how to do. If the Raiders do anything, like trade Devontae, like fire Luke Getze, like sign a player, you will get a video on this show. We've put out a video every day on this channel for four plus years. Nobody puts out the content that we do. Nobody is as consistent with content as what we are. But if you're a diehard Raider fan and you like hanging out with friends, like having a good time, I hope you subscribe. I hope you join this family. I would like to be able to get to 200,000 subs by the year 2025. Let's go to Fonzie. We have to tank to get a franchise quarterback. It sucks, but we have to go through this. We're not mid anymore. Cam Ward would be my pick for a QB. I agree that Cam Ward would be my pick, but I don't agree with tanking. And I'll say this. The Raiders don't need to try to tank to be bad. The Raiders can play football the normal way that they would play football, and they're still going to be a bottom five team in the NFL. That's just the truth The truth. If you tank, I think it's a black guy in the organization, and I don't think NFL teams should be allowed to tank. You're making way too much money. It's an entertainment People are paying way too much money to go see you. If the Raiders just play football the way that I think that the Raiders are going to play football this season with Luke Getzey at OC and with Antonio Pierce, the head coach, they're not going to be good anyway. So do you have to try to tank? No, you're just going to be bad enough where it might just look like you're tanking. Now, we got more questions, more live reactions from Raider Nation. We're going to get into all of those here in just a moment, but Game Time is our sponsor today. I love Game Time. Prices drop. As the event gets closer to you, and they got that lowest price guaranteed. If you're going to go on Game Time, if you're going to do the download the Game Time app, create an account, use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again. Create an account. Redeem code CHATSPORTS, that's C H A T S P O R T S. 
for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? It's Game Time. I love the super deals. I love the lowest price guarantee, the event cancellation protection, job loss protection, the seat views before you buy, the curated deals make it easier to find the best price on seats, and if you're planning on trying to go to maybe a Mets-Dodgers game, maybe you want to go to the Raiders-Rams game, Raiders-Chiefs game here in a few weeks, if you also want to go watch a concert, a comedy event, Quite frankly, if you're going to go watch the Raiders anymore, you probably should also try to get a ticket to go to a comedy event and get a smile on your face. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code Chat Sports. But what's also important is to look at the Game Time picks. The Game Time picks are the best deals available. If When you walk into a store or when you do online shopping, the first thing that I do is I look at sales. I look at price lowest to highest. It's how I do it. If you're that type of shopper, download the Game Time app, create an account, use code Chat Sports. That link's available to you all down in the comments and in the description of today's show. Mando, someone super sim the 2024 season. I wish it was that easy, but I also will say this. Anytime that I've ever dealt with a big-time struggle in my life and then you come out on the other side, which... I'm not going anywhere, and I think a lot of Raiders fans aren't going anywhere. And I know a lot of y'all probably been saying this for 20, 30 years. When the Raiders are finally good again, it's going to make all these years, all these days, absolutely worth it, and I can't wait to see when it happens. Deuce, is it more? Is it me or does this 17 trade hurt less than the MAC trade? Cheers from Toronto, Canada, eh? Bon jour to your Deuce. I agree that the Devontae trade hurts way less because – we wanted Khalil Mack. Like, Khalil Mack, I thought, was a, the, the defensive face of this organization, and he was a player that a lot of people rallied behind. Devontae was definitely a diva. He wanted out, and totally, totally different. Mack walked so Crosby could run, Chuck said. Hella jumper, the 19th. Stack those picks. Let's go get a franchise quarterback. Could not agree with you anymore. If you want the Raiders to draft a QB this year, click that like button. Jordan. Shador has no O-line and stands in the pocket and throws with accuracy, knowing he's going to get hit. He's the most sack QB and still has great numbers. I have been very impressed from what I've seen from Shador Sanders. And I know last season, I did. I said, I don't really like Shador. But the thing that makes me the most nervous about Sanders is Sanders is a me guy. You can disagree with that all you want. Shador Sanders cares about himself, himself, and I think he cares about himself. And if you want to be able to keep focus on football, Shador's probably not the right guy to bring in because there's going to be a lot of concentration on Shador. And you got to be able to bring in somebody that can, you know, get a bunch of NFL players to rally behind them. You say that he's got a bad O line. He does, but Shador's also been online and he has said that the offensive line is bad. That's not what a leader and a teammate does. I think Shador's a good talent, but there's a lot of other shenanigans that go along with Sanders that does make me nervous. Joseph Hammer. Josh McDaniels is to blame, and somewhat he is. Josh McDaniels does deserve some blame. When the Raiders traded for Devontae back in 2022, it was his job to figure out a way to go get a quarterback. And instead of trading up for C.J. Stroud, McDaniels goes, I want to offer Jimmy Garoppolo a three-year deal, $72 million, without having even watched him throw. Which just goes to show how bad McDaniels is at his job, but that leads also leads to Mark Davis. It also leads to the Raiders. The Raiders are the bigger person to blame in the Devontae saga, but I say that as 51% blame Raiders, 49% blame Devontae Adams. Raider Rob, are the Raiders off the hook for the rest of Devontae's money, and does he have to be a Pro Bowl for the second round pick? Yes. So essentially what ends up happening is the Raiders, uh, the Jets take on his contract, which is a really, really big thing for Mark Davis, and it is a big thing also. Now, the Raiders still have to eat some dead cap hit, which that's because they restructured his contract. So Devontae's dead cap hit this season, I want to say is like $12 million, and then the dead cap hit next season is 15.7. So the Raiders will have to eat about $27 million in dead cap space, but they don't have to pay even close to what they would have had to pay Devontae, and the Raiders did get a conditional third round pick for in order for them to get that second Adams has got to be a first or second team pro bowler this season or the Jets have to make it to the Super Bowl or AFC championship game Braun John Silver who will lead the Raiders this season in receiving yards Brock Bowers I mean I, I think I got to go Brock and I, I don't even know if it's going to be all that close I mean right now from a target standpoint Bowers is and I, I'll even say this Brock Bowers right now is more important to this Raiders offense than Devontae Adams was when he was healthy and motivated playing on this team. Like, that's just the God honest truth. But I, I got to go. Wait, we got 
random breaking news here in the NFL. The Browns are trading Amari Cooper to the Buffalo Bills. And that one just happened. More breaking news on the NFL. And I know that we're recording this live. I know that we're around the Raiders. I've seen a few questions come in here around Amari Cooper. But Amari Cooper is being traded now to the Buffalo Bills. But I will still say that the top wide receiver, the guy that's going to lead this team in receiving yards, will end up being Brock Bowers. That's going to be the guy. He's the main focal point of this team. That's how it's going to go. But I got to always ask the nation because I know that you guys are loud and shit. There's over 1,000 people right now watching this with us. Who will lead the Raiders in receiving yards this season? If you think it's Brock Bowers, tell me it down below. If you think it's Jacoby Myers, let me know down below. Quite frankly, I don't know if there's another option that you could pick. Chowsers, Ward if you want to win. Sanders to sell tickets. Chowsers, I don't disagree, man. Noah, question for donation. Does this mean DA eats corn? I bet you he eats some corn the long way at Taco Bell. He probably does. And I'll be, uh, I'll be curious to see how awesome this marriage lasts for New York simply because Devontae was on the Pat McAfee show and he looked happy today. Like he looked like he was, you know, all chipper and all good. But that's also a two and four football team that's got a lot of issues of their own. And if there's one media group or one fan base, and I'm not saying Jets fans are worse than Raiders fans. Raider fans are, will lay into you, no doubt about it. But the New York media, there's nobody close to the New York media. I'll tell you that. And if they're not winning, the blame's going to go on Aaron Rodgers, and Devontae's going to get way more hate than he's ever gotten from Raider Nation. That I can promise you. Brian, realistically, what are the first moves we should do for this season? You want my honest opinion? If I'm the Raiders, my first moves that I'm making right now for this team, I'm going to figure out a way if, A, do I need to sign a wide receiver, but I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably going to roll with everybody that I got. First thing that I do right now today, I walk into that room, I go, Andre James, you're no longer playing center. Dylan Parham, Jackson Powers Johnson, you're going to end up playing center. And I start hopping on the phone, and I try to trade Colt Miller. I try to trade Andre James. That's, that's what I would do. Now, Miller's been better of late because he's definitely been getting more and more healthy, but... You're not going to do anything this season to help you try to win. The only other thing that I might say, hear me out. It was reported today that the, the Pittsburgh Steelers could start Russell Wilson. If you wanted to go out and trade for Justin Fields, that'd be another option I would look at. Because I can't blame Telesco and Antonio Pierce for still trying to win football games. John, Notre Dame quarterback, that boy can score. Riley Leonard? I mean, Riley Leonard was a QB prospect that I liked when he was at Duke. He's a good QB, but, like, not an NFL quarterback. LL goofed. Adams getting traded and immediately being with Rodgers on the Pat McAfee show looks corny and shows AP saying Adams was still a Raider was BS. I mean, according to sources, Devontae was already at the Jets facility today before the trade was announced. Devontae already flew out to New York late last night. He was already at the Jets facility. This trade has been done for much longer, I think, than what we even like to realize. Devin, why do people act like tanking is the truth? Isn't there a 50% chance your pick actually pans out? Why do people act like this is a viable route? I think people look at it because it's an excuse to not try to win games. And, you know, Raider fans, we want to win. People want to win. But I agree, tanking doesn't always result in and the outcome that you want, especially with an organization that has failed drastically at taking in the first round. But, like, what's challenging about tanking, and the only reason why I would even encourage the idea of tanking, is if you get the number one overall pick, and then you go hire Ben Johnson. That's the only way tanking would even make little any sense. But AP and, and Telesco, they're not going to tank, because then they're, they're not going to have a job. That's why it's not going to happen. Blaine. It's a double-edged sword. Rather be stabbed by the side that guarantees a top two QB than winning five to seven games. Trading up ain't guaranteed, especially post-draft. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. And that's why people want to trade because you're guaranteed to get it. Also, the trade that just went down, um, the Bills got, it was a third round pick for Amari Cooper. Third round pick for Amari Cooper. So that means Amari's been traded for a first a fifth, and a third in his career. Wild stuff there. Chazers, why didn't we just pay Lamar Jackson a fully guaranteed contract? Could have had him. I, I was going to say, Chug said it, and I agree. The, the Baltimore Ravens would have matched it. So when they 
franchise tagged him, they would have had the opportunity to match that deal. But reminder, I mean, I was somebody that was like, if you have the opportunity to go get Lamar Jackson, why the hell would you not try to do it? I was also somebody that said, maybe we should try to go get Kirk Cousins. I was also, for a lot of the OG Raiders report watchers out there, when it was an unpopular opinion, I'm talking back when Aaron Rodgers was the quarterback of the Packers, before Jordan Love ever stepped foot on the field, I was the person making videos around the Raiders to trade a fourth-round pick for Jordan Love. I was always a believer in Jordan Love. And if you don't believe me, go check out the old vids. I, I feel like I've always done a good job evaluating quarterback talent. It's kind of what my specialty is, in my opinion. Allen, when it comes to Renfro, you also got to think of the plays he's got from Josh McDaniels. Screen plays. He's not a screen guy. Despite injuries, I know Renfro can be a great again. You're right. I mean, he was not a good fit. Not a good fit at all with Josh McDaniels, and I thought it was going to be, and, you know, you thought you are going to be able to use him in a bunch of ways, but you just said, think about what you're saying here. He's not good with screen plays. I mean, that's what Getsy does a lot of with, with, you know, with our receivers, and Renfro's not a great blocker. He's not a physical receiver. That's stuff that we need right now. Like, what, I don't know what Hunter Renfro offers to the Raiders right now. I, I don't, and I don't know what he offers to any team because the concussions scare teams off. Solomon Thomas with Tay out, Getze has to get Trey more targets. It's crazy to think that the Raiders are going from playing an away game at their own stadium to a home game in L.A. Can't even have stability stadium-wise. And I hear Raiders fans out, and it's because, you know, Oakland, we always had that home field advantage, and it is crazy. But Steelers fans, they travel well, and people also just got to realize that the Raiders and Allegiant are the hot ticket item for opposing fan bases that have never been there before. They're going to want to try to go there. But Trey definitely needs to get more targets. No doubt about it, man. Got to gotta start figuring out how to wait, put balls in his gut. What up, Alec? We knew this was coming for weeks, and I wasn't mad this morning waking up to the news. What does make me mad is how he goes on Pat McAfee to rub it in. And that's what the Devontae, you can say what you want about Tay, right? And I think it's okay to call it how it is. Devontae was kind of acting a little snakish. Devontae has been a very selfish player over the past few weeks, past few months. But, like, I also can't blame Devontae for being happy. He gets to go play with his old buddy. He probably thinks that all of his issues are gone. But that also says that Devontae didn't really want to be a Raider as bad as what we thought. Because for you to leave a 2-4 and four team to go to another 2-4 and four team that just fired their head coach, like, you can make the argument that the Jets are a bigger dumpster fire than the Las Vegas Raiders. We'll see how it works out, but you know what the worst part is? I'm going to be rooting for him, and I'm going to be rooting for him because I want the Raiders to get a second-round pick, and I, I I don't care. I'm I'm humble enough as a person. I don't even know if that's the right word, where I, if Devontae is a first- or second-team All-Pro and the Jets end up making it to the playoffs, if the Jets end up going to the Super Bowl, I'm not going to be mad about it. One, that means the Chiefs don't win a Super Bowl. Two, that means we get a second-round pick. If that's what that means, I'm in because I care about the Raiders at this point. I don't care about Devontae. Devontae, they, they can do it. I care about the Raiders. And if Devontae playing well and the Jets playing well means that we get a better pick to help us out in the future, that's what I want. That's what I want. If I didn't get your question, you can always hit me up on IG. You can always hit me up on Twitter. I'm at MitchellRens365. We're going to stay live here for a little bit longer on this show. And the next time that I will be live, unless more breaking news ends up going down, and the next time that I'm going to be live is going to be on Thursday. i got to dress up as a flipping cheerleader, so make sure you're tuning in for that. Thursday night football, Broncos-Saints. Very, very interesting game. It looks like we won't be – it looks like there's going to be probably multiple YouTube Raiders channels rooting for the Saints that night.